Welcome to Geometry Masterclass. In this video, we have a rhombus and circle that touches the sides of the rhombus BC and DC at the vertexes B and D. The circle also intersects the side of the rhombus AD, dividing it into two segments with the ratio 1 to 3. The radius of the circle is 3. The task is to find the side of the rhombus. Let's quickly remember the properties of the rhombus. The rhombus is a special case of parallelogram, where opposite sides are parallel to each other and all sides are congruent. The opposite angles are congruent as well. According to the initial terms, the ratio between the segments AE and ED is 1 to 3. So we have already labeled the segment AE X and the segment ED is going to be 3X. So all we need to do here to find the value of X and multiplying by 4 we can get the answer. As a first step for the solution, we need to continue the segment BO until it meets with the segment AD. Let's label this point F. Because of segments BC and AD are parallel and BF is perpendicular to the segment BC, we can conclude that BF is also perpendicular to the segment AD according to perpendicular transversal theorem. So now we know the angle BFD is a right angle. Let's consider the triangles EOF and DOF. The triangles EOF and DOF are congruent according to hypotenuse leg congruence property. Because they have a common leg, and both hypotenuses are congruent as well, as they represented themselves as the radiuses of the circle. From two triangles congruence follows that corresponding sides are congruent. Namely, the sides EF and FD are congruent and they are equal 1.5x each. Next, let alpha denote the acute angles of the rhombus BAD and BCD. Notice the angles BCD and ADC are same side interior angles. So according to the same side interior angles theorem, the angles BCD and ADC are supplementary angles, which means the sum of these two angles is equal 180 degrees. Therefore, the angle ADC is going to be 180 minus alpha. The angle ADO can be calculated. 180 minus alpha minus 90 equal 90 minus alpha. From the right triangle FOD, the angle FOD can be calculated. It turns out the angle FOD is also alpha. So here let's pay attention to these two right triangles, triangle ABF and the triangle DOF. These two right triangles are similar triangles because they have two congruent angles, the right angle and the angle which corresponds to alpha. From the triangle ABF, let's calculate cosine alpha. Cosine alpha equals segment AF divided by segment AB which is equal 2.5x divided by 4x equal 5 divided by 8. Using the most basic formula from the trigonometry, let's calculate sine alpha. Sine alpha equals square root 1 minus cosine square alpha equal square root 39 divided by 8. From the triangle DOF, we can write the following expression. Sine alpha equals segment FD divided by segment OD equal 1.5x divided by 3. Put in the value of the sine alpha here, we can find the x. x equals square root 39 divided by 4. So we can put the value of the x in this formula and finally get the answer. The side of the rhombus equals 4 times square root 39 divided by 4 equals square root 39, which is approximately 6.25. Thanks for watching. Bye.